It's been six weeks since the inauguration and you would not believe that Tinobu hasn't yet moved into the Asurong Villa. <laughs> Why you may ask, nobody knows. But when it, this news first came to the public knowledge at, at around a month after the inauguration, I posted the video on this channel. You can go check that video out where it was said that you know there were renovations still ongoing that was why the president hasn't moved into the Azorog villa yet but now we are getting to find out that six weeks after he still haven't moved in and i'm, and I'm like hmm, could it be that tinobu doesn't trust his predecessor because the usual thing these politicians do is that especially when they do not belong in the same political party where they get into office, they make sure that, you know, they get rid of all the stuff that was used by the person, the previous person occupying the office, like chairs, television, and what have you. You know, we used to, we have, we had the reports where it was said that, you know, the, the staff members of the House of uh, Representatives and Senate were cutting away televisions and, you know, equipment in the, in the offices of the, uh, from the offices of the previous that is the tent assembly officers they know that these politicians are not going to make use of these things that was why they were cutting it away because they know that when they get into office most of these politicians wants to get new things you know not to be the first person launching all these items most importantly they are not they are they are not 100 percent sure that their predecessor haven't you know put charms and what have you in the office for them to sit on, you know, that kind of thing. Most of them, we saw the, the, this governor on the inauguration day where he refused to sit on the chair that his predecessor has used. He refused to sit on the chair and he sat on another chair. Those are the kind of things you find in Nigeria. You all, before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell if you haven't subscribed already. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Share this video with your friends and family. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Why President Tinobu is yet to move into a Sovilla residence weeks after inauguration. President Bola Mel Tinobu is reportedly yet to move into his official residence at the Aso Rock Presidential Villa, Abuja, six weeks after taking over power from former President Mohamedou Buhari. While Tenobu is here to occupy his residence, the President is using his private conference room, office space and Aso chambers for crucial meetings. According to Sunday Punch, Tenobu's moving in has been delayed due to ongoing renovation that began in the April, in the late April, when former President Buhari vacated the 32-year-old structure for a temporary residence called the Glass House. Although it took Buhari almost three weeks before he moved into his new residence, presidency sources said the same could not be expected of the new commander-in-chief who is moving in eight years after a previous occupier the source stated and i quote these things are relative it is not fixed at all good luck jonathan stayed for five years and buhari stayed for eight years so the level of repairs that needs to be done this time must have increased there must be major alterations they are trying to do for example the council chamber we use today didn't have all the technology it has now. There was a point during Baba's Buhari's tenor that it had to be shut down completely because they wanted to upgrade it. We were using the First Lady's conference room for Federal Executive Council meetings at that time, and it took a long time to, to effect the changes. Another source said it's also about individual choices what you want in a place but he Tinubu occupied the office as soon as he came in on june 10 a security source revealed that he Tinubu has not moved in because maintenance is still on 
you all let me have your thoughts in the comment section what do you would you think have caused this delay because it's surprising you would think that it would be operating from the Asorog villa by now like what kind of alteration what kind of renovation is still ongoing since you know april that he resumed office what sort of renovation are they are they working on you know at least buhari was occupying the place for he occupied the place for eight years and the only i expect that you would expect that even if there is any renovation that needed to be done you know it would just be minor minor renovation one or two one or two here and there you know it's not like they got a uh, low grade equipment in the in, in the aso rock villa in the first place so these things will still be in very good condition and you would expect that those are the same appliances or those are the same things that Tinobo would use even if there is any renovation you would not expect the renovation to still be on by now six weeks after the inauguration renovation is still on is so surprising to me because <laughs> this thing what i told you in the introduction introductory statement is so re is for real like be immediately the ninth uh legislators the ninth assembly legislators from the ninth assembly left their office staff members of the national assembly were seen cutting away television fan chairs anything they could lay their hands upon because it's been evident to these people that even i'm not saying stealing is right of course it's not right like you know these legislators they just love to waste government money they see it as national national cake when i get there let me just take my own and go like poverty alleviation uh alleviation program that is what we should just call uh government officers or orders at this point you know because these members of staff of the national assembly they know that even if they do not take these things these things will end up end up getting wasted you know it's it, they will just destroy these things because most of these new public office holders they get into office they want to absolutely you know get rid of all what the the former person who was occupying the office used during his tenure they want to get new things only god knows why you know they don't want to sit on charms in the office they are of this opinion they are of this mind that uh, probably there's charms somewhere waiting for them so in order to avoid that they just you know get rid of all the things in the offices this uh, national assembly staff knew that already so they had to you know take stuff for themselves before the new legislators arrive that is why you see uh one public office holder will come into office will buy multiple cars and when he's leaving he will take those cars when new set of people are coming in they get another set of cars it's like waste upon waste upon waste it's so sad you guys let me have your thoughts in the comment section thank you very much for always listening and watching i'll see you in my next video bye for now